A replica of the Vietnam Veterans Memorial in Washington, D.C. is making a stop in the Low Country. The wall that heals is letting families, veterans, and visitors honor the men and women that gave their lives in the nearly 20 year long war. Our Tiana Maxwell joins us from the wall at the Dorchester Heritage Center this morning. So, Tiana, what can you tell us about this memorial? Good morning. Good morning, Katie. Shelby, well, the wall that you see here and behind me holds the names of nearly 60,000 men and women that gave their lives during the Vietnam War, with some of these panels physically placed here by local Gold Star families remembering their loved ones. The Dorchester Heritage Center leaders say this wall is the largest of four replicas that tour the country that looks like nearly football field length, just three quarters of the size of the real memorial in Washington, D.C., to add to the replica D.C. Memorial experience, visitors will see exact panel numbers and name etching. An education center will show the faces of local heroes across the Tri-Counties, as well as Culleton and Orangeburg. The center highlights veterans that returned from the conflict but died afterwards. And David DeMent, the chief operating officer for the Dorchester Heritage Center, says the Low Country has many families that lost their loved ones during military service with the areas large military background. He says it's special to bring the exact memorial experience from Washington to the families. The youngest veteran uh, that could have been in the conflict of the Vietnam War right now is 67 years of age. And so uh, with most of the veterans being in their 70s and family members maybe even 80s, it's getting more and more difficult to think that they'll make that trip. You can visit the wall and honor the people that answered the call to their country today until 2 p.m. on Sunday. And coming up in the next hour, I'll tell you how volunteering some of your time can mean more for the people remembering the men and women on the wall. In Ridgeville, Tiana Maxwell, Life 5 News.